Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, if I'm the Photoshop artist, and today we will create a material for our 3D objects and we will create colors using Adobe Mobile application. We will be using Adobe Capture CC. First of all, let me launch the app. I will click on Adobe Capture and voila. I will click on Material tab and now I can start working on my uh, material. I can um, if I will click on um, camera icon, I will be able to take picture of the subject I would like to create my material from using uh, my mobile device camera. Or if I will click on the image icon, I will be able to use my image. So I will click on um, the image icon and I will be able to use uh, image from my camera roll, from Creative Cloud, from uh, Lightroom, from Adobe Stock or from a files. I will click on camera roll and here I have my demo folder. I will click on this image and guys, congratulations. We have created our material. Yes, Adobe Capture CC did all job for us. And I can preview my 3D uh, my, my material using 3D object. I can rotate my 3D object 360 to um, better pre preview. Also, if I will click on uh, 3D icon, I will be able to switch between 3D object. So everything depends of your uh, um, uh, depends of your project, of your uh, taste, and everything like that. So I can rotate my 3D object for a um, better preview. And I will snap my material here. Uh, I will switch to crop workspace and I will be able to crop my image. So uh, guys, uh, please pay a close attention. If you will uh, crop your image in any way, I mean, um, you clearly will affect on your material. So if I will uh, zoom in my uh, image just like that, I will have different material you can preview it live. If I will zoom out, I will have another material. So guys, use your imagination, use your taste, use your eye, art insight to create any material you want to. After you will be satisfied with everything, you cropped your image in any way you want to, click on refine and you will be redirected to refine uh, workspace where you can adjust your material in any way you want to just move your sliders i cannot say tell you for sure uh, what slider you need to move um what uh, you need to adjust it everything depends on your project and guys do not forget you can switch between 3d objects and you can rotate 360 any of those objects for better preview so as you can see Everything is so good. Everything is so easy in Adobe Capture CC. After you will be satisfied with everything, you happy with your material, simply click on save and voila. You need to rename your material. Click on the name, delete it and rename it. I will rename it to YouTube tutorial tutorial also I will specify my creative cloud library I will save my material to Adobe capture library I will click save and voila as you can see guys I have many many materials I previously created using um, Adobe capture CC I love 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 capture CC so if I will launch my Adobe Dimension CC right now, uh, I will be able to use my material, uh, any of my material I created using Adobe Capture in my Dimension CC workflow. So guys, I love it. I hope you all will love it as well. Now let's talk about colors. I will switch on colors. I will tap on colors tab and voila. Here I have same options. I can use my a uh, mobile device camera to take picture of the subject I want to create my color from or I can use my image. 
I will click on the image icon, I will click on camera roll and I will click on my demo folder. I will be using same image I used in my material workflow, just like that. And guys, voila, I have beautiful colors. I did nothing. Again, Adobe Capture CC did all work for me, but of course you can adjust it. If you don't like any color, simply click on any color dot and move it. So maybe I want to have something like this. Let's move. And you can see any part of your image you want to snap color from. Just maybe, yes, this image. This part also I will move this dot to slightly, maybe, let's see. Uh, here. Yes, I like this color and also I will adjust this just like that. Guys, I'm pretty much happy with everything. I will snap the color and voila. And of course, guys, here in Swatches uh, workspace, I can adjust my colors. I will click on any color and I will I can adjust them in, in any way I want to. So it everything is up to you. So I will switch, I will rotate, I will change the color. I can do anything I want to. So guys, you can switch between RGB, a lab and any other um, colors. You can uh, switch to harmonies. Uh, you also can see the image and you can adjust your colors. After you will be happy with everything, guys. Just use your imagination again. Use your art inside. Create anything you want to. After you're satisfied with everything, click save. Rename your color. I will rename it to YouTube tutorial. Tutorial. I will specify my Creative Cloud library, Adobe Capture CC. Uh, also, I will publish to color.adobe.com and I will click save and voila. Now, if I will launch any Adobe application, desktop or modern or, or a mobile, which supports uh, Creative Cloud libraries, I will be able to use my color um, in any uh, workflow. So even I can open my Dimension CC right now and I will be able to use my color in my Dimension workflow. I can open my Photoshop CC and I will be able to use my color in my Photoshop workflow. Same with Illustrator so, uh, and any other Adobe um, application which supports Creative Cloud libraries. So guys, colors, as you can see, I have created a lot of colors. And I love uh, creating my colors using Adobe Capture CC. So guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you like my tutorial. If so, please uh, subscribe to my channel and share my tutorials. Thank you guys. And, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Ask me. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for being with me. And I will see you later on. Bye.